Hey, I'm Ali Carr, and this is Hosts at Home for the Holidays. Hey, we're baking pie. My homemade apple pie is baked inside of a flaky, buttery crust, a spiced apple pie filling, and then topped with homemade whipped cream. It's pretty amazing. I'm gonna use about six to nine apples to make my homemade apple pie. I like to use about three of Granny Smith apples, and then I either use like Honeycrisp, um, Pink Lady, or Jazz. Mixing up your variety is such a great way to get a nice flavor. We can edit this fine fellow out. I don't know why you wanna do that. I like to just slice them in half and then take a scoop to get out the seeds. And from here, we'll slice up our apples. Add a little lemon, give that a little bit of a toss. So next up, we're gonna add our spices. About a tablespoon of cinnamon. We're also gonna do nutmeg and a pinch of cloves. About a half a cup of brown sugar. And then a half a cup of your white granulated. We've got our allspice, cardamom, and salt. Once we let it sit, we're gonna add two tablespoons of cornstarch, and that's what's gonna help thicken up our pie. The sugar is gonna start to pull the juices out. We're gonna let that sit for about an hour, which is perfect time for us to make our homemade crust. If you have like just a little extra effort to do the homemade pie crust, it makes a world of difference. So we start off with a stick of butter. You want that butter as cold as it can possibly be. That's the secret to flaky pie crust because the little pockets of butter burst inside and then you get that flaky goo, it's just divine. And we're gonna use about a cup and a quarter of flour. So we're gonna go ahead and mix those nice and slow. I'm gonna add in just a half a teaspoon of sugar and just a half a teaspoon of salt. Normally when you bake, you're using like room temperature items, not with pie crust. I'm gonna slowly add ice cold water. We're looking just to get that like texture where it all starts to clump up and gets a little bit more smooth. Just enough so it all sticks together. Once it starts kind of sticking to the paddle, then we know we're done. Go. I'm gonna form this and then pop it back in the refrigerator before we roll it out. You can always use your pie plate as a guide. I'm gonna go ahead and put this inside my pie plate. I love these Temptations pie plates because they are so big. Looking good. So that's our bottom. We've let our pie filling sit for about an hour. I'm gonna go ahead and now sprinkle in about two tablespoons of cornstarch. All right, we're gonna add our apple mixture. Okay, perfect. Then I'm gonna go ahead and just pour the liquid into a measuring cup. Go ahead and drizzle that. We're gonna cut our pie crust. I use a pizza cutter. I'm gonna take five strips. So this is gonna be our base for our lattice. Oh my gosh, okay, it looks so good. Now, if I have any really like long edges, I'm gonna give it just a little bit of a haircut. I've got a little bit of egg whites here. This is what's gonna help get that really nice golden crust. And then we just sprinkle with a little bit of sugar on top. Voila. All right, we're gonna pop our apple pie. It's like a little slanted. <laughs> we're gonna pop our apple pie into the oven at 375 degrees for about an hour. Crust is golden brown, sauce on the inside is all bubbly. While my pie is in the oven, let's make up some whipped cream. There's three ingredients, right? It's whipping cream, confection sugar, and your flavor. That's it, right? And then you actually know what is in the cream. Oh, that looks good. It looks amazing! Mm. Delicious. And that's it! I'm Allie Carr. This is Host at Home for the holidays. I hope you have a very special holiday with you and your family.